think our research with a number of people from the group here is um, trying to understand how Parkinson's disease might be caused and whether our research can contribute to the underlying problem, which in the long run could help them cure this just really horrible disease. I think one thing is that we're touching ground that nobody ever has touched. So we're always trying to figure out new things. No, I think for me, I mean, for me it's kind of, uh, it's job and hobby merged in one. So it's not really, I cannot separate it. Of course, sometimes you really definitely need a break. Uh, and then of course other activities are important, but I, I'm always kind of thinking about the project, not because I have to, because I really want to do it. I, I just occupy my mind because I like it. I also think that in some sense, this kind of job pre-selects certain kind of people who, who are simply curious, who simply want to see something, who, are, who want to who ask themselves questions that need to be answered. I guess a bit like a musician, right? I mean, they, I guess many of them, if they're passionate about it, they will not put the instrument aside and then don't think about it anymore, right? I mean, then they will still see, okay, it's tempting, let's get the guitar, right? So <laughs> it's kind of that for us in science. And I think in general, we are pretty frustration tolerant people. So we really tend to push it and try it again and try again and try again. And sometimes it's then just at some point you have to let go, which is then very hard. I think you stop calling bad experiments failures. You just start thinking, okay, this was a disaster, but <laughs> like, I'm ashamed that I did this, <laughs> that I thought about this, but then what do I learn from this? And I don't know if, like for you, but for me really, spill over in other aspects of life because then you, you get more positive about everything that doesn't work and, and you say okay what do i learn from this yeah, so, exactly i think it's a bit of a cliche but it's true yeah. you learn from yeah. every mistake and every yeah. failure you, you make also in the lab yeah. we are never fulfilled we find one answer and we have 10 more questions about the answer we found how things go from from the and i think it, it's also much more difficult to get the answers than to develop new questions it's just questions come like this. Yes. Answers take time. The more you know, mm. the more you know nothing. The more <laughs> I can speak for me and I think I also speak for some others. It's not just colleagues that I found in the lab, but I really in these last four and a half years I've been in the lab, I, I really built some very, very true and deep friendships. And this is also amazing. There's always somebody on the campus you can talk to. Mm -hmm. So it's really very diverse as well. It's not just biochemistry, it's very diverse. So this is really cool. And it, everyone is so easy to reach. And you can feel that there's this international spirit around. And people from all over the world, you're more tolerant, you're more open. And it's, it's, it's actually very cool. Yeah, I think there is. Th this is also where the group is coming in for lab meetings, where you get like input and you hear suggestions. I don't really have to commit so much because I really love doing it. I chose to do this and this will stay. Yeah. yeah. I, I think all of us That's can. Good. This will <laughs> stay. I, I never say I go to work. I always say I go to the lab. Yeah. yeah For me, that's same. such yeah. a difference. I just go to do what I like to do the most every day. So it's just fantastic. Don't think of all the things that can go wrong, but just give it a try. And then while doing it, you will figure out what, what was the problem. And But don't be afraid of it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.